All right, we should be live on Facebook, and welcome to The Wellness Show. And this is your host, Tyson Bannigan. And today, uh, we're fortunate enough to have Bob Doyle with us. He's a busy man, and he's um, been known for doing many, many, many things, but mostly known for The Secret. And now, Bob, you have a brand new show. So how did you go from The Secret to this show? So thanks, Tyson. Um, well, it was kind of a... Um... A long journey. But the, the show itself, the Bob Doyle show, has been around in various forms for, well, since I was 12, but more recently on the internet for literally about four or five years or whatever. And it's been mostly entertainment and just me being silly and, and things like that. But about a year ago, I picked up again the book, The Science of Getting Rich. I'm sure you're familiar with the book. It was the book that inspired The Secret and the whole thing. And I had not read it in about 20 years. And after teaching law of attraction for 20 years and looking at the science and coaching it in so many different aspects, just learning a ton and all of it, reading it again, it had a whole different impact on me. And I, and the, the overall thing I was thinking was we're making, we're all making this whole thing way too complicated. We're all taking the law of attraction and, and turning it into a step-by-step -step process or a technique. And then people are worried about getting it wrong and they're not having fun with it. And, and it's, they're, they're just approaching it in such a weird way that energetically the results they're getting are all over the place and chaotic. And this book, which has been around for, you know, a hundred years, really lays it out. And, and what it really, what really landed with me is that people, it's all about a feeling, everything that we're wanting to attract and do, it's, it's all about a feeling. We want to feel something. And happiness is definitely one of those things that we ultimately want to feel. It's, it's on the good end of the spectrums of emotion. We want to feel happy. And, and that can look externally, like a lot of different things for a lot of different people, which is why, you know, no dollar amount or size of a home or anything like that makes happiness. So it's about really defining what you, what is happiness to you and what will make you happy and using the principles in these book, in this book, which is really, they're very simple. It's just basic straight up visualization, but without all the noise of your, your mind telling you all, all these things. So I wanted to focus my efforts because I, you know, I, I can't, I've been in this world of teaching the law of attraction, helping people with it for, you know, a couple of decades. And, and as much as I like to do all the creative stuff with the Bob Doyle show, I can't seem to get away from, from integrating this. So I just decided to bring the, the silliness of the Bob Doyle show together with, you know, how can I help people get a happier life by talking to experts and things like that. So the show itself is a lot, is, is sort of some of me being silly and just creative and doing animation and different things that are related to the topic. And then, and then we bring in a guest to, 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 you know, for real, who has a program or has something to, to share. So this, so the reason I'm doing this show is it's a blend of everything that I'm really up to. And I think it helps me to hopefully communicate what is most important with all of this in terms of the law of attraction and, you know, what you really want. So, you know, I give the law of attraction, I mean, the uh, science of getting rich book away now for free to anyone who'll take it. It's in the public domain, but I've written sort of my own version of it because I want people to get in touch with just how simple this can be and study this and rewire. So there's a lot of factors. This, this, I promise this will be the longest answer of the whole thing but there, because <laughs> there, but there was just a lot of, so how do you find this happiness and being the Bob Doyle and having fun and doing the show and, and manifestation, you know, and getting rich or the secret, how does that all come together? I mean, obviously you're saying we take it way, way too serious, right? Yes, 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 yes. What are some of the keys around all that. Well, it's first of all, the, the, the biggest uh, stop that the, the thing that slows people down the most when they're working with or trying to learn the law of attraction is they really don't take the time up front to create a vision that is really what they truly want, that will truly make them happy. Most people, you know, create a vision that is to solve the problems that they have right now. And that in and of itself is just it's just infiltrated with all this bad energy. And what this book is saying and what all, all of, you know, happiness and all of it bringing it together is saying, you know, you don't have to create a future that's based on your past. Mm -hmm. You can start right now and decide what you want, decide who you want to be. And that doesn't have to depend on who you've been all the way up to this point. You can be anybody. Now, there will be, when you change your energy, when you change the conversation basically with the universe, then things are going to shift around you. Relationships are going to change. Careers are going to change. There's going to be change and discomfort as you grow into something bigger. We're just not we're not set up for success in that kind of growth. We freak out. We're programmed to think, oh no, I'm losing everything. Something's not working. And then you go right back to, to what you were feeling before and trying to figure out what you did wrong in the process when it's really just as simple as uh, know what happiness feels like to you 
and create some sort of a vision that inspires that level of happiness and bask in that vision all the time and do everything you do with that vision in mind, sending a, a consistent signal because we send such crazy chaotic signals as we make meaning out of things. Oh no, that means the universe doesn't want it for me and all this nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. And it just slows things down and, and it doesn't have to be that way. And so that, you know, so I'm just trying to tie all these different ideas into, Hey, you know what? It's, it's let's just, what do you want? Who do you want to be? You know? And then, and then of course, coaching them through the growth process and taking action and, and all of those other things that are, that are important to do, but man, people get so tied up in the techniques. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's been so many um, secrets about the secret that the secret got wrong or there's a missing step or they should have done this or done that. Oh yeah. I mean, it gets yeah. so confusing that, you don't know what's up and what's down. Exactly. And what you're saying is it's really quite simple. It almost sounds like uh, you're asking people to remember that, you know, as a child, you had joy. There wasn't something you went looking for. You just went out and mostly were in joy. That's how you were. And yes, uh, we're wired for it. It's, it's yeah. you know, we're wired to be able to experience it. And it's just the world and how we interpret it and how we're taught to interpret it that changes all of that. We, it's, it's wiring, you know, mm -hmm. and, and depending on your environment, you know, happiness is wired in certain ways. It can be conditional on having a certain amount of money in this environment. It could be conditional on just waking up in the morning is enough to make some people happy. So mm -hmm. it's just really depends on, so there's no one true definition of happiness, which is why when people start to learn the law of attraction and try to figure out what they want based on what they think society should want or what other people want, it's, it's, it just screws up the whole thing. You have to, you get to choose what you really want and it doesn't have to depend on any of this stuff. And so, but even understanding that, like I can say this and mm -hmm. people can go, okay, I get it. And I can say it again and I can say it again and they can listen 12 times and it's still not enough to undo the wiring. So it's it, because we've got years, decades, some of us of this wiring and we can't expect to watch a movie or read a book or do a program one time and expect that all of that wiring that makes the, that that decides how we make meaning out of the universe is going to change we have to be so committed to being consistent with new thoughts new ways of making meaning so that on that energetic level the universe is getting a consistent signal and can deliver something that doesn't seem chaotic it's a reflection of what you're doing so if your experience of, of reality is chaotic, it's because your thoughts are all over the place and you can't settle in on one. And there's lots of reasons for that. Stress is one of the ones. And that's why, you know, we, we are emphasizing happiness, little tiny things you can do in your day to make things a little bit happier, ease the stress just the slightest bit, because just all the layers of little stressors in your day end up feeling like this huge weight. And if you can just lighten the load just a little bit, then you have more energy to be resourceful and creative. So this is what you're calling your happiness hacks. Happiness hacks. And they sound really silly and goofy. I mean, they're really like, there's no, I'll share a couple of them with you and you'll be like, that's gotta be, you know, people will go, that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Cause it's so simple. It's so simple. And so you discount it. You go, well, I could do that, but how is that going to help? And I'm like, try it. This is what I'm saying. These little things. So one of my favorites to share and, and, you know, some people have an issue with, they don't like stuff around their feet. But then again, this sounds silly, but two pairs of awesome socks at the same time. Now, again, I know that sounds silly, but our comfort and how we take care of ourselves and the state of our body really goes, it's a, it, it determines a lot of how we think and feel and process. If we're uncomfortable, we think we, we interpret things one way. And if we're super comfortable, we'll interpret things another way. We get to liter literally make different meaning. And so something as simple as your feet feeling a little bit more hugged than usual can literally change your and walk around in those things, you know, or a comfortable pair of slippers or, you know, just basically treating your feet right because a lot of people just don't. They'll wear them on special occasions or they'll wear them in the evening. And what I'm saying is, you know, you could wear them all the time. It's free. You know, you can, you can wear them as long as they feel good. So having said that out loud, I know it sounds silly because other ones are things like get nice towels, nice towels. So when you get out of the shower, it's like this, Ah, oh, I get to wrap myself in this luxurious thing. Yes, it will cost you more once, but when you have a $3 towel, it's just, Doesn't you know, work. there's that feeling and, and it doesn't give you any sort of yum feeling, right? I'm, I'm saying, I'm inviting you to bring more of that yummy feeling into your every day and not just like, 
treat it like a special thing or whatever. And that by doing these simple things like having a winter green lifesaver, which is my thing, it could be different for another person. But when I, when I, whatever I'm doing, if I'm stuck in traffic and it's like, ah, if I've got a winter green lifesaver in an individually wrapped package and I pop it in my mouth and I get that sort of holiday feeling that comes with winter green, the mood changes a little bit and my state is shifted. It's super simple, but just little thing. But now here, the thing about this is, is with each of these things, you have to be really present, right? You know, like, like taste that winter green lifesaver, feel those socks on your feet, right? All of these things like being present is a huge part of this whole process of enjoying your life because that's where enjoyment happens. It's where health happens. It's where everything is in this moment. And so the, these hacks are about bringing you into the moment. There's a taste, there's a sensation on your foot. There's something that you're seeing, you know, something that says I'm here right now. And this is nice. I like this feeling. I like this taste. I like this smell. I like the way this feels right. And it changes your state from whatever your chronic worry or anxiety or that low level stress that has such an impact. You have no idea, you know, a person who is just mildly stressed will make a totally different decision about how to interpret an event that happens to them in the day. And that energy that is created in that emotional response to that has a huge impact on truly their experience of reality. And so being mindful of that and being present to that is really what I'm trying to do. Now, the show itself, the Bob Doyle show, we're not as preachy as this right now. I don't get on this. We, we use the interview or we use humor or whatever, some other way to do it. But these are the points that I'm really trying to drive home is that this process is supposed to be fun and you get to do and you get to do whatever you want to with it. And you don't. And, and, and the reason I keep sharing the science of getting rich is I really after teaching this for so long, it's like there really isn't anything else you need to know. Right. There are tools that can help it. And, and, and we do talk about those things uh, for sure, because it can speed some of the process along. But in terms of like, how does this all work? It's just simple. And so I just I invite everybody to if they don't have it, they can download it. I think I've given you a link to it or whatever. And it has a forward by me to help you kind of position yourself, like get, get your mindset right. Because a lot of people will read a book that's 100 years old and go, what do they really mean? Right. You know, like, oh, this is old. And I'm saying, read it exactly as it's written. Don't try to read anything into it. Don't try to understand like the hidden meaning. There's no hidden meaning. Just do what it says and things will occur differently in your life. And, and I'm saying this with great conviction because when I started, when I reread the book, I did, I, I, I approached my own sort of reality creation manifestation process differently than I had been doing, you know, and I had more fun with it. And I was studying that book every day and I'd never done that in my life. You know, I knew that Bob Proctor is famous for, for decades of studying this book. And I, and now I get it. I, now I get it because there's, there's, it's all in there and it is going to take repeated reading and contemplation and, and maybe, you know, helping someone helping you interpret if they feel, you know, if you're overcomplicating it to get that wiring going, it, it is going to be something of a discipline, but it helps you in the most fun and creative thing you can possibly do in your life. And that is to create your experience of reality. So, so, so it's worth the, doing. So what's the major change you've had now that you've gone back and read the book and realized, it's, Hey, this is, you know, really important. And you began to understand it in a totally different way and not only understood it, but applied it. Yes. So the biggest thing is that I've really learned that we do not have the luxury of basking in negative thoughts. Okay. Right. So like if we sit there and worry and go, oh, this stress, this thing is stressing me out. And here's all the reasons I should be stressed about it. See, everybody agreed that this is a stressful situation. As long as we, as long as we argue for that and hang on to that, our reality is going to reflect that. So what I've learned to do is put my, like, I just don't have time for negative thoughts because, and it's not that they won't occur, but it's about not dwelling on them and giving them power and all that meaning because I've replaced that. I'm not, I don't have an idle mind. I'm creating something new and exciting. To, uh, I'm creating a new vision. Like if your mind is filled with negative thinking, then you need to create a vision that is so inspiring to you that that's, you want to think about that. You're thinking about how that's going to feel and letting the universe fill in the details and looking for, for clues as to what inspired action to take. You don't have time to dwell on the negative because this, you, you know, this is so much better. And, and by default, when this happens, this won't even be an issue anymore. That's right. how you can build your vision. So it's so that is what my so my life feels so much lighter 
right. and the and the projects and the things that I'm doing are are coming together so much quicker. And and I'm not having to do the things I don't want to do. Like I'm I'm able to to go, like I know that once I see it and that it's going to show up and it's happening that way. And I'm getting out of my own head and trying to figure out how this is going to happen. You know, get out of that entrepreneurial competitive mindset. Like, how do I get this to work? Right. Which would had gotten kind of taken over on me to awesome. this is what I see. And then just people show up and then the ideas do come. It's not like I'm just sitting here and magic is happening all around me, although it can occur that way. But then it's like I'm not suffering over ideas, the ideas and the inspiration. They just boom, 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 boom. Every single one of them is a hit because now I'm, I'm now I'm tuned into my intuition and I'm letting it flow. And I'm, I've got my attention, my emotional attention in the right place. I'm not trying to solve a problem. I am creating a whole new future. Well, and that's, that's the nature of this. So uh, if I'm understanding you correctly, I, I, one of the fundamental things I think you're saying is that this ability to manifest as we all have it is that right there. And even the synchronicities that you're talking about that seem to appear as a, like magic, right? Like there's just mm -hmm. coincidence. The fact that we don't see them in our lives is because we're so busy in our head thinking about what's in the way or we need to do this or we have some sort of agenda that we miss all of the clues that you pick up naturally because you're dwelling on what you want to manifest in your life. But, but they're also not attracting the same kind of clues I am because right. their thoughts are on the problem. So they're attracting more of that. They're right. attracting evidence that there's a problem, whereas I'm not looking at focused on and thus I'm not in alignment with all of these problems. I'm more in, in alignment with what will be the solutions, you know, but I'm not thinking about them in terms of solutions. Right. This is just I, this is just my life that I'm creating. Right. So the alignment is key. What you align with is what shows up. So t let's talk a bit about the course, because the course sounds really exciting. You're saying that, you know, helping people get over this or get through this is really instrumental like you could you can think that you got it or you understand it but in actual fact until you, you apply it um you don't really have it and it sounds like you as a coach help people sort of get back to that a number of times until they actually get it right so the course that you're talking about is this it's the science of getting rich explained and basically it's a chapter by chapter breakdown of of the of the book so you know i supply the book free and then if people wanted to do this video stuff but it's it's there's so there's a video teaching and an audio teaching module with every course where i break down i go through line by line basically and just really clarify bring it into the current day grounded if it's starting to feel a little woo-woo or whatever and the feedback that i and this i started doing this in a, in a private group coaching uh group that i had mm -hmm. uh, just on a whim uh, because we, because one of the topics was was mentioned in the book, and I had just gotten, I was all excited about it, and they knew it. So we started studying chapter by chapter, and it became really one of the most valuable things that I we'd ever done. And so that's why I said, well, I'm going to take this out of the group and do a public version, and because understanding this stuff is so life changing, and and it's not complicated. It's just listening to it again. So the reason the course is there is like, okay, so you read the book and then you listen to the breakdown. So you get that understanding and then you do it again, and you do it again until it's like one aha moment after another. It's going to be one of those things that you're going to listen to it and then you're going to listen to it again and you're going to get something new. Absolutely. That's just going to happen. The book is like that, even for me, even for Bob Proctor, even for, you know, the people who have been, you're going to get a different level of it. And, and to the extent that you, and so the other part of this course is that, there's support ongoing. So there's a Facebook group involved and then there's live Q and A so that the, there's, so there's a community around this. I, I, I have been very successful in the past few years building these group coaching communities. And this would be a version of that where basically the topic of the coaching is the science of getting rich and going through it and implementing it. So there's a group where people can discuss what's going on, how it's going. I'm in there all the time. Uh, and then, and then on a regular basis, I do a live Q and A on Facebook. That's it's private just for the people who are in the course but they can ask whatever question they want to about the book or how it's working for them or whatever. So it's ongoing support because like I said, staying in the conversation, like it just, I would never just put out the course and say, okay, there you go. Because I already know what's going to happen. Right. They'll not finish it or, or they'll, or they'll finish it once and then they'll move on to the next thing. But I'm trying to get, you know, trying to create an environment where they want to stay in the conversation and, and, because the longer they do that, they're going to see differences and then they're going to see, oh yeah, wow, it was really this simple. So that's, that's the whole purpose of the course. It's just like to, to, to bring people back and go, look, it was said a hundred years ago 
it's no less true. Just do this. Just do this. And don't worry about the rest. So you have a all... special pricing for the course coming up, right? And you have a new well, we've got right now until the 1st of okay. August is yeah. it, it, we're in early bird. So yeah. it's 50% off now. And then on the 1st, it goes up. But I mean, the, the coaching, the, the level of coaching that you get direct like interaction with me is probably not what you're expecting because I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot right. more than, but this is the constant feed, but it's because I actually do enjoy doing that. I enjoy the group, the, the online groups. It's a ton of fun. We get to, you know, great friendships are formed. So it's just a great, you know, I love it. So, so they, they, and I'm really, really committed to people getting it. So they're going to get super direct coaching, like not just the vague sort of, well, just keep smiling. You know, it's like the real thing. Right. It sounds great. And, um, and it sounds very exciting and it sounds like it can be life changing. So I know you have another couple of questions here. I, I really feel that we've really hit the, the nail on the head, but yeah, said, it's would, fine. Could you tell us about the biology involved with creating our, our happiness. Well, that's that that is uh, that was a topic we could have talked about, but it's both most it's basically addressing the fact that our experience of reality and all of our emotions is a biological function, you know, that we're experiencing through hormones and things like that, this miracle of this vessel. So, you know, when we realize that when we feel something like worry or anxiety or fear, something that doesn't feel good, if we can just get present to this is just a chemical response. This is not about reality. This is about chemistry. And the reason I'm having this chemical reaction is because of my wiring. And if I'm committed, I can change my wiring so I will not have this chemical reaction. I do not have to be you know, uh, influenced by these negative situations just because I have been up to this point. But, I, but you do have to be aware, hey, I'm just being triggered. This is just automatic. This is just, and it's just, it's just a hormone and it will metabolize when I replace my thoughts. If I can get into gratitude, something right. like that, replace the, 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 that automated feeling so that you can begin to rewire. Great. So it's always a choice. And uh, if you choose happiness and joy, guess what? It's going to flow into your life. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. It's a great what you're offering people. It sounds fantastic. It looks like we've got the secret for the secret at last. <laughs> no more fooling around. We're going into zeroing in. And this time we're going to get it right. That's what it feels like to me. I'm, I'm very, very excited about this because there's been so much talk about the secret. Let's, yeah, it's yeah. not really a secret. That's no. that's what's so neat about this. It's not really a secret. It's uh, second nature. Actually, we're born to be prosperous, so let's get yeah. on with it. So yeah, I say it's first nature, actually. It's exactly why we're here. That's one of the main things that you get when you do this course, yeah. is understanding that we are here to have these amazing experiences. We're, we don't have to deserve them or earn them, it, we're here to have them. And man, oh man, when you can get that, it's, it is a truly a game changer. Yeah. And, and wow, what could be better than that? So thank you, Bob. Greatly appreciate thank it. Thank you. All sure. Right. My pleasure. All right. Probably see you in the course. Bye for now.